Hi. Um, I wanted to talk about low income and what's considered low income in a lot of states. Um, when we think of low income, we think of people that are destitute, people that are on disability, people that are on welfare, people that are um, making minimum wage or less as being low income. When you think of uh, people on disability, you think they're making um, 10,000 or less a month. I mean, a year, 10,000 or less a year. Um, that to me would be considered low income, making 20 grand or less a year. Well, in Seattle, it's considered low income if you're making, uh, well, they're, they're saying that this is for a family of four middle class. Middle class is not supposed to be low income. It's not. That's why it's middle class. But I'm going to tell you something. There used to be low income. There used to be middle class. And there used to be the rich. Upper class. Low, uh, lowing, lower class, middle class, and upper class. Now, for every class of people, there is two classes to every group of people. When you've got the low income or you got the lower class of people, you have those that are making minimum wage, which is like ten to fifteen dollars an hour. That's low and you got people making 20 to 30 dollars an hour that has not broken into the middle class yet that's still low any lower class but it's the upper crust of the lower class 15 dollars an hour is here 20 to 30 dollars an hour is here you're still in the low class, but this is the lower of the low class, and this is the upper of the low class. Then you got your middle class, which is like uh, 50 to $75 an hour. That's what is considered to be breaking into middle class. That's the lower of the middle class. And then you've got people that are making 100 to 200 grand a year, that's the upper crust of the middle class. Then you've got the rich, and you've got tiers of the rich too. You got the low rich and you got the high rich. Uh, but here it says in Seattle that it is 72,000 is considered low income for a family of four in middle class. Now, see, they don't see for Seattle, they don't want to talk about the low class. They don't want to talk about the low income. They want to talk about the middle class and they want the middle class to seem like they're oh so poor, that they're doing oh so bad. Don't fucking buy stuff you can't afford and don't get into debt that you can't afford to get yourself out of and you won't be low income. You'd be able to live. And I don't understand why anybody would want to live in a city that they can't afford to live in. It's just painful. And it is disgusting. It really is. If you're in Seattle and money is starting to feel a little tight, you're not alone. The Department of Housing and Urban Development says a Seattle area family of four whose household earnings are under 72000 is low income. That's higher than the average household income in 46 states. That is way higher than the average household in 46 states. In case any singles are feeling left out, the HUD low income bar for a single person household in the Seattle area is 50,400 a year. That's about 24 
$1,000 and 23 cents an hour for a 40 hour work week. Now, I'm not down on people that are making money. I'm not down on people that that work hard and they want to have a life. I understand. I'm all for that. If you work really, really hard and you can afford to go out and do stuff like go out to dinner, um, go out to someplace, uh, a theater, and uh, not a movie theater. Average people can afford that. But to like Phantom of the Opera, The Lion King, or, you know, something really nice like that, Wicked or, uh, you know, something that uh, Cirque du Soleil or, or something like that. If you want to do that and you've earned it, that's fine. Go out and do it. Be responsible. Don't act like you're Fraser Crane. Don't act like you're Fraser and Niles Crane that's got to go out to the opera every night because it makes them feel important. It says here that's about $24.23 a, a, for an hour per hour for a 40 hour work week. A worker making 15 an hour is considered very low income in the region. Now, $15 an hour, depending on what city you live in, can be okay. You can get by. But who wants to just get by? I mean, who wants to just pay their rent, pay their utilities, and pay their cell phone bill, and then be stuck at home? Go to work, come home. Go to work, come home. Be stuck home, not being able to do nothing. If you like being at home with nothing to do, then that's fine. Eating a bowl of popcorn while you're watching TV, that's fine if that's what you want to do, if that's what you like. Now it says here, uh, for a look at some occupants, occupations that more than off, more, that more often than not put a single owner household in the middle class. Okay, check out the gallery above. Okay, well, there was a, a gallery above, photos that uh, show different things. Okay, it says here, before you head to the Housing Authority to get a Section 8 voucher, though, more bad news. They're fresh out, at least in King County. So if you're low income and you're looking for a Section 8 voucher, you know... <laughs> I'm kind of torn. I don't know if I should feel bad for these people or not. You kind of knew what you were getting into when you decided to hook up with Seattle. Some of the winners of the Section 8 lottery will start receiving help, rental help in June. Depending on the federal funding, those farther down the wait list could be waiting more than five years. With rents continuing to increase across the county by double digits, low-income households are failing to find housing they can afford, Housing Authority Executive Director has said. This program is essential part, this program is an essential part of our region's safety net. Proposed federal cuts in funding will see more children, more elderly, more veterans living on our streets. Now, it's kind of your fault, Seattle. Now, I'm not talking Seattle over the board. Like, I'm not looking at Seattle and saying it's your fault. I'm looking at the citizens that live in Seattle. The ones that were living there before all the transplants moved in, when Amazon moved in, the, the city of Seattle should have put their foot down. The citizens of Seattle, you should have told the, tra the transplants, stay the hell out of our city. And you should have told Jeff Bezos that started up Amazon, you should have said, no, we can see where this is going and it's not going to work very well for our city. And once Jeff Bezos took off with Amazon, you should have told him, you're going to help out the city or we're going to tax the shit out of you. It says here, the entire King County program supports 11,300 families. The Seattle Housing Authority administrators, uh, see the Seattle Housing Authority 
administers a similar program that provides 10,360 vouchers in 2015. That was in the 2015. Uh, they don't offer too many vouchers, so, you know, that's been about four years ago. The Seattle uh, Authority saw 19,000 applicants for 2,500 vouchers that year. Okay. Now, when you are in a city and low income is 72 grand a year, for a family of four. That's not even a family of four working on minimum wage. That's a family of four that's considered middle class. Yeah. I don't feel sorry for those people. I really don't because you're choosing to stay there even though you know you can't afford it. It's like, uh, if you haven't seen this episode of the Frasier Show, Look it up. Niles had to keep his apartment. Niles had lost his wife. They got they were getting a divorce. Niles was cut off and he couldn't afford to live where he was living at before. So he ended up going to the Shangri-La apartments. Now, I could be happy living there, but the Shangri-La apartments represented poor. The Dakota represented rich. Now, when you got when you got a place that says low income is now considered 72,000 a year for a single male, they're saying that it's 50 to 60,000 a year. Where I live at now, I'm on disability. I make less than 10 grand a year. If I had 60,000 a year, do you know how well I could live on that? There you go. Anyway, this has been All Things Considered because I consider all things. Good night, Seattle, and all points beyond.